Hey everyone, video 28, and review, I believe, number 23. Yeah. So, how excited are you for Beast Hunters? I know I am. Mostly for the Predacons, definitely for the Smokescreen figure, can't wait for him. That's going to be epic level. But, uh, hoping I can get this done before the light leaves me but who knows uh, so I was in my local Toys R Us the other day and happened across this guy and immediately had to pick him up because I because he was the only one there and I knew he would disappear the moment I left the store with, if I left the store without him. So, without further ado, I present to you the mass, massive monster known as Beast Hunter's Voyager Class Predicate. Yeah. I freaking love this guy. I don't think I'm going to be getting any other one. Just him. Because I don't like any of the bigger ones. He's going to be it. And... Damn. The only big problem I have with this mode... Is these wings... Very loose. And they don't really like to hold their shape. They hold their pose. But... You can get him into many different poses. But, here he is. It's kind of a little goofy looking. You know, the wings are a little off, but... Yep, and this is him in Hydra mode. With the Hydra Fire Blasters mounted on either side of his head. One, albeit not the greatest, but mounted. Uh, problems in this mode... This head is very soft plastic, but it's not as soft as some other plastics. Uh, but the, the bottom jaw is the sturdy plastic, which is good. Uh, the feet kind of a little goofy. But they work. Um, sorry. And, yeah, the, the necks can pop forward and back. But that's part of the gimmick. But, so, and I'm not going to go into that until later. So, let's get into the transform. He's, he's, well, I'm not getting into transformation. I'm going to go on, back on things. He does need a few bit of, a few paint apps here and there. I, I can see a bunch that that could you know benefit from some painting he's got a he's got a crap ton of cybertronian tattoos all over him that i'm gonna hit with color uh the outside of the wings should be done in black i'm probably gonna do that you know the the, the center areas i'm gonna hit those with black and then maybe silver on all the tattoos uh Maybe black on the ones on the wings and silver on the ones on black plastic. And on the, the, the muted orange on his legs. But that's a long ways off. I'm not going to worry about that yet. So to start transformation, you want to rip his tail off and wiggle the extra heads out. Set those off to the side. I just use my Xbox since it's sitting right here. Next, what you want to do is take the wings and fold them straight up so they're up over his head like that. And then you, that's what you do. You fold them forward. It just gets things out of the way. You come down to the midsection. And a Take it and rip it apart right here. 
Because those are his legs. And take him, and rotate him forward, and bring them all down. And what I do is I take this tail section, turn it that way, fold it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the waist, rotate it that way, so that the orange on the wa on his waist meets the orange on his chest plate. Now to the legs. The legs are interesting. Because they have the dragon mode legs on one side. Well, and coincidentally, they're both on the left. Or right at this point. So we're going to start with this one. What you're going to do is you're going to take this orange flap. Fold it all the way forward. Straighten up the leg as best you can, and rotate the leg in. That leg will then snap into, will have, as a post in this, on the dragon leg that snaps into a slot on the robot mode leg. You got that. This leg is different. If you keep the leg like that, these toes would hit the foot. So what you do is you take the toes, swing them back, then you rotate the whole leg in, and you force that same peg into that same slot, like that. And the legs are done. They're nice. And they, they have the, the feet are cut so he can hit that wide stance. Then what I do is I bring down that tail bit again to get it out of the way. Come up to the upper body. Rotate the arms down, close the feet, which become the hands. Take these black spikes, which I think look good in this mode if you if you had them up, but the instructions tell you to fold them down. So you do, and they hide away, but you can still see them. And what I do is I take the leg, the wings and I bring them back down again because they're in the way yet again. You pop the chest section forward. Spin the dragon mode 180 degrees at the neck. And then bring it down along its back. What you then want to do is force that dragon head into the back cavity, which will pop up his robot mode head. At the front of the robot mode head is a little tab. That little tab pegs into the chest section, so it all closes in and the, and the head doesn't move. Next, what I like to do is I take the wings, swing them out of the way, bring that same tail section back up, and what you're going to do is you're going to force it onto the back of the dragon head, because there's couple of spikes on the back of the dragon head that will fit the grooves on the tail section so it all holds itself together which is nice and the next thing and then the final thing I do before I get him finished and I don't before I armor him up or arm him up is I just bend the wings in and fold them in like that that's personal that's personality personally that's what I like to do And, yeah, there he is. He's done. And I, I think he looks awesome. Just the orange and black definitely looks like Halloween. But Halloween gone beastly. And I like it. It's really cool. Now, to arm him up, what I do is I take this arm. Or you can take either arm, because the same thing applies and on the thumb pinky section there's a tiny slot right there that slot can accommodate the two side pegs one of the two side pegs on the tail you just wedge it in there close the hand around it as best you can and there he's got his sword and it's cool. It's the tail, and it becomes a sword, like most Beast-era 
Like most beast era transformers, those with ha those that had tails, the tails would become the weapon. And that's cool. Now for the gimmick part portion of this review. You take the two extra hits, which on the box are labeled as Hydra Fire Blasters. They have the 5mm peg system. Each of his forearms has a 5mm peg hole. So technically you can mount these on both of his forearms. Like they're right behind the hand so it would be like there. And you can it shows that you can bring the arms together and plug them together and that now they're geared. And they are. That was not supposed to happen. Let me find that. Oh, Lordy. Where did you run off to? I'm sorry, this is completely unprofessional. I'll have to find it afterwards, but I'll pop the other missile out. But anyways, what you do, and I'll take, the, I have the missiles out, and I have the other missile out, so. Got the two heads, got the two combiner stumps. What you do, just wedge them together. I didn't even notice this, but they look different. But you have the heads, and basically it is what it is. You have them up like this, and you pull on the tabs, and you can extend them forward. When you push on them again, the missiles will fire. And what I've done, what I do, is I can take this entire hand and open it up, and then close. And get the the post in the middle, and I've found a way to just wedge it in there and have him hold it. And he holds it just fine. I mean, sure, it's not the greatest, but he holds it, and it looks cool like that. Instead of him mounting him on either forearm and then bringing his arms together, that's just silly. I know, I got close, <laughs> but anyways, that's my Voyager Predaking. Uh, oh, and we're uh, and that's it for him. Uh, hopefully, I'll find Ripclaw, the other the other Predacons. I'm gonna pick up the Abominus, which is not listed, but it's there. The the, the Legion class. Can't wait for Smokescreen, and. Oh, this is a, this is a plea to everyone. If anyone can find me a Voyager Skyquake and a, or a Deluxe Cup from the Prime Line, I will be um, I will be and donate to me. I will be your friend forever. I have not seen them at all. They have not shown up at all. It's all the generations and the Beast Hunter stuff that's showing up now, and I don't like it. Um. So yeah, if you can find if you can find me at my, one or either one, and donate it to me, you gotta tell me first in a PM. If you find him and, and you can donate, I'll greatly appreciate it. I'll give you the biggest shout out and no matter and you know review it the moment I get it. But that's about it for me. And this and what and as always. Keep your eyes open, your ear to the ground. Keep your eye, keep yourself frosty, and stay tuned to next time.